What's going on guys? This is Josh from PhotographyTipsHQ.com and I'm going to be going over how to set up a blog for your photography business. Um, the first thing you're going to need is, is hosting and I recommend a company called HostGator and that's HostGator.com. From here you're just going to click on view web hosting plans and they have a few different options here that you can check out when you get to this page. Um, I'm just going to go with the, the monthly. Click order now. Now you want to select your domain name. I'm going to be rebuilding a site that I, that I already have, which is joshmitphotography.com. The steps are the same. You just have to pick the domain name, and uh, it'll take you to the, to the next page. Down here, there's a coupon code. If you type in photo, photo tips HQ, you will get 25% off. Um, I can't use my own coupon, so I'm going to stick with Snappy here. And uh, let's continue on to step two. All right, from here, you will type in a username, a security pin, and all of your billing information. So. I'm going to take just a quick second and do that. Okay, so after you've filled out all of your billing information and submitted that to HostGator, they're going to send you a confirmation email that will have a link that will take you to cPanel here. Your username will be in that email as well as the password they generate for you. So go ahead and enter both of those and click login. Now I recommend saving that email into a folder just because it has information you're going to need. Um, with your servers, your login information, and the, the link to your cPanel. The first thing you want to do is go into preferences here and uh, change your password just to something that you can remember. After that, we're just going to scroll down until we get the Fantastico Deluxe. So click that little blue smiley face. Then on the left side here, you're going to see blogs and you see WordPress. Go ahead and click that. And you're going to want to do new installation. So the domain name is already filled in, whatever you picked out. You don't have to mess with the install in directory. You just want to add a username, a password, an admin nickname, the admin email. The site name, and this stuff's filled in. I'm going to change, change this here in a second. And then you just click Install WordPress. All right, after you finish filling out that page, you want to click Install. It'll take you to this page here. You click Finish Installation. All right. And then from here, you're going to see the link that will take you to the back end of your site. So go ahead and click that. All right, now my username and my password are already filled in for me. And go ahead and just log in. So this is your WordPress dashboard. This is where you're going to spend a lot of time on your site. This is where you'll upload photos. You will write your blog posts. This is also where, we'll, where we will create the site. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is pick out a theme for your photography site. Now, there's a website called themeforest.net, and they have a bunch of uh, themes you can look through and choose from. On the resources page of photographytipshq.com, you'll find that I've grabbed a handful of ones that I like and have posted links to each of those just to save you a little bit of time. But I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, chocolate WordPress responsive photography theme. I just really like some of the things it does, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. Okay, so after you've purchased it, you want to go ahead and click download. Okay, so after you've selected a theme, you purchased it and downloaded it, we're going to want to install it to WordPress. So the first thing you want to do is go over here to Appearance, click on Themes, 
go up to this tab here that says install themes. You got search and upload. Go ahead and click upload. Choose file. I need to get into my downloads because that's where it's at. Grab the zip file. And go ahead and hit install now. Okay, after it's finished uploading, you want to make sure to go ahead and click activate. Okay, so after you've activated the theme, we're going to be back at the dashboard. And uh, you're going to see over on the side, uh, underneath settings, tools, and whatnot, chocolate theme and appearance. So go ahead and click that. The very top there, you get to upload a logo. So you just click upload. It'll choose the file. It'll you know, upload the photo that way. And you can decide on the kind of font you want. Putting in a mobile logo for uh, when people are viewing your site on their mobile devices. Uh, your favicon, you can choose a file for that, which is the little symbol up in the up in the top. Your menu, responsiveness. You want to leave responsiveness on so that those that are viewing your site on a mobile device or a tablet, um, it will it will fit the screen that they're looking at, which you definitely want that. So. Um, you can look at your background here and decide on what what kind of background best suits best suits you. Um, there's a lot of options here, and you can even uh, you can set it to no background, or you could you could enter your own if you want it to be a, a photograph that that you've taken. So the great thing with this is you can pick. You can pick one of these as uh, as background level one. If you scroll down, you have background level two, which adds which add more detail. Um, just kind of nice little effects. There's some creepy skulls if you're into like a Halloween theme or something. There's jack o' lanterns. Um, anyway, I like the way it looks, just standard with the the background it's set with and. Uh, those shapes there so I'm just gonna leave it like that I'm gonna hit save options okay so now let's just take a look at what the site looks like you can see there's the background with the with the, the shapes the designs over the top of it I've got my logo right here that I've that I've uploaded and uh, so the great thing about this site, the reason I chose this theme, is because you get to use a, a slider that puts a full picture uh, on your homepage. So that's going to be the next thing we, we look at here. And uh, you can click the slider, mouse over the slider button here and hit add new. Okay. Now you want to enter a title for your slider and the the purpose for that is so that uh, the way this theme works you will actually insert this this slider onto the home page so I'm just gonna type in home alright and then we're gonna go ahead and select some files and I have a folder set up uh, just for these the slider photos. So I'm going to go ahead and open that and then just select all of them. And what I've done is I've gone through and just I've edited these photos. I've uh, saved them at about 65% quality just so that it would help the site to load faster. The larger the photo you have, um, the greater issue you're going to have with uh, with with loading times, so you wanna wanna make them as, uh, as small as you can without without killing the quality too much. So um, these are gonna go ahead and upload. Take a little bit of time here. Okay, now those are all 100%. We're gonna hit save changes. Okay, click publish.
Okay, so after you've selected the photos for the slider, um, we're going to go ahead and head over to Pages. And actually, you're going to click Add New. And click Add New, you're going to title it Home, which is what I've already done here. Okay, you add your title right up there. All right. Then what you want to do is over on this side over here where it says template, you can, uh, you can select different, um, uh, what would be the best term, like page attributes, exactly what, it, what we're looking at here. So um, we'll look at a few of them. Here's the homepage 3D slider. It, it's kind of a cool slider, not really the style I'm going for, but go ahead and hit update. All right, and then view the page and so you can you can kind of select different ones over in the corner it's uh, you know and it has these 3d effects going on so anyway not not really my style I'm gonna go back to edit page and then you can do static which I believe is just gonna be a stationary um, stationary photo might not be nothing. Maybe <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to do anything. So back to edit page again. The, the one I like to use is a uh, classic chocolate slider. Um, that's that's just the one I like, and uh, you can take a look at it here. Seeing it, and it what it's going to do is it's just going to cycle through these photos, and that's the home page of the website right there. It's just displaying your work. Um, it's it's clean, and so the next thing we're gonna do is is clean up this section over here and and add add more to that. So um, you just click click the very top there, just to go back to the dashboard. At this point, you're gonna want to add pages. So a page you probably want to add would be blog. All right, and I'm just going to save draft. Well, I'll, I'll show you. If you hit publish, you can go back to the website now and view it. Now you've got blog over in the over in the side for for another page, and you'd be able to start adding your blog posts. Let's go back again. Um, some other pages you might want to add would be um, portfolio. You could make it a gallery of photos, a gallery of albums. So you have you have different options there. Publish that. So as you can see, it's it's real easy just to add these pages. I'm going to show you real quick just how to add a uh, a blog post, and this is where we're going to trash this one and add new. Um, first post. This is my first post. Okay. You can decide whether or not to leave comments on or off. Um, anyway, publish. Let's go back to the home page. Okay, so one thing we got to do here. As you can see, what's happening is the site is landing on blog instead of home. So we're gonna we're gonna change the order here of of these pages, and we're also going to set a static home page and um, the blog page, which is where your posts will show up. So we'll go back into dashboard here, uh, customize your site, I believe. Yeah. So from here, you're gonna see static front page. Select a front page, we want it to be home. Uh, the post page, we want it to be in blog. We hit save and publish. Okay, 
Okay, let's go ahead and close that. Now, if we go back to the site, see we're landing on the home page, and the blog has my first post. Okay, so we've we've got our blog now. We've got home. We've got portfolio, but it looks a little bit uh, redundant right here since we have pages and there's also these pages right here. So how do we take care of that? Well, it's pretty easy. We're going to go into back into our dashboard here. We're going to look at appearance. We're going to click widgets. Go into widgets. And you're going to see you've got widget area. You've got home page widget area. What we're going to want to do is grab that, pull it out. You can leave recent posts in if you want. For right now, I'm going to take it out. What that's going to do is it's going to clean up. It's going to clean up the site a little bit. So now we can uh, go back. And see what we have is just our three pages. Okay, now I want to change the order that these are in because right now it's just doing it alphabetically. So the way we do that is we're going to go into menus. All right, create menu. Let's just call this menu home. Okay. Then you see over here, you've got portfolio, blog, and home. And depending on the amount of pages you have, that's, uh, that's, that's how many you'll see. You just hit add to menu. Primary navigation is going to be home. Make sure you hit that, hit save. Okay. Now you just grab these and move them. So we want home first, portfolio second, or I'm sorry, blog second and portfolio third. Hit save menu. All right, go back and look at the site. See, now we're in the right order. We've got home, blog, and portfolio.